Good evening, how are we? Sorry I was a few minutes late. I th I've, all the family are out. Ah, Sunday, happy Sunday. You know, feels like the whole day. I'd be getting ready to see you guys now. It's like, uh, I doesn't even get a bit nervous, you know what I mean? So um, I hope I hope everybody's coming on. Hi, Liz, can you hear me, babes? <coughs> Didn't clear my throat before I came upstairs. Hi, Nick, how's it going? Can you hear me? Everything okay on there with the, with the variables, with the volume? Hi, Gary, what's it going on? How are you, Gary? Evening, Liz, how are you? Good to see you, babes. How are you keeping? Yes, you can hear me, great. Gary, what's going on? How are you? It, good morning, Nick. I hope you're having a coffee. I'm um, trying to watch my coffee intake. I'm trying to watch every type of intake, you know what I mean? Trying to uh, trying to sort out the Ned Kelly, you know what I mean? It's not easy. It is not easy. And all the family were out. I was just about to go live and I thought, I haven't locked the front door. I go downstairs and somebody's robbing me and I'm onto you guys live. <laughs> Cracked me up. So I just ran down to check the front door. You know, you do these mad things in your head. You're like, oh, is the front door locked? You know what I mean? Because all the, you're having a cup of tea. Yeah, tea is better. Hiya, Michelle. How's it going? Anne-Marie, how are you? Great to see us coming on. Tanya, how are you, Tanya? <clears throat> I haven't tagged you for a while, Tanya. Great to see you on. Thanks. Steph, are you having a beer? Because I'm going to have a glass of wine. Hey, Amanda. Donovan, how are you? Great to see you, bro. I hope I get to South Africa next year. Karen, how's it going? You're well, Amory. Good, 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 good. You're in Cork, Amory, I think, aren't you? Yeah, good to see you on. Karen, what's going on? How's it going? Yeah, I hope you're keeping well, sweetheart. I hope you're keeping well. There's a few few interests and stuff for you tonight. Light me up. Can somebody tag uh, Marta? Kennedy there, because she always says she can't find me when I come on live. I mean, I don't know how she can't find me. Always a six on a Sunday. Steph, I love it. Because when I, when I finish, Steph, I watch it back to see uh, like how it went and see how I was. And uh, hiya, Tracy. How are you? How's it going? You'll be glad to know, Tracy, um, Lanzarote at Easter is in the pipeline. You'll be glad to know. The kids had such a great time in Costa de Guinness that they... Um, you know, that and with um the virus outbreak and my heart goes out to Sun Sun and everybody who's in China at the moment with the with the virus that just broke out. Great man, great. With the virus, it's so scary, isn't it? It is so scary that under no circumstances do we want to um, travel to Asia at the moment. You know, and my heart goes out to the Asian community. Let's hope they find a cure and a vaccine and find it quickly. All our prayers need to be with these people. When we see... <clears throat> separation and people talking about you know all these um yeah all these type now i'm I'm going on ryanair tracy because i had to go cheap i had to go cheap i had to book ryanair because uh because uh our lingus were crazy prices so i've only got a 10 kilogram bag so the choices you have are color touch tubes and they won't be even in the box but make your list out forget developers forget shampoo conditioners they weigh too much but co color touch or um tints or anything you're after and that side of things or you know yeah i'm your man baby i'm your man whatever you need babes is she here is she she, she made it she made it martha made it anna vaughn how are you how's it going <clears throat> great to, great to see you on i know how difficult it is when you're in la to try and get on it's great to see you anna's one of the, the greatest texts i've ever come across um yeah, just an, an incredible girl and she's been here with us since since day one uh just a hive of information and i often find myself answering a question and i remember anna teaching me it you understand what i'm saying that's how you know i remember particularly with high lifts the way she 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 approaches high lifts hi jennifer how's it going great to see you babes hi and um uh, the way she approaches high lifts the way she she travels um <clears throat> through the levels with high lifts and the right tone for the right level is um something i never even thought about until anna anna taught me so um um we all tip our hat to uh anna vaughn here you know earlier this morning she had a member having a bit of a go with her you know and i'm sure i know anna she she would be quite sensitive as as i would be very much so and um I just want you to know that we all love you here and that we wouldn't allow anybody to do anything to you. And to thank you for all that you've given to the community, the Weller community. Uh, you're a treasure. Um, you're a treasure. 
I know you're blushing. I know you're blushing. I know you're... But one day I'll get to come to that incredible LA studio and uh, you'll be able to show me around and give me an L, give me a hug. You know, when no one's looking, you'll be able to give your Uncle Andrew a hug. But, um, um, you, yes, you're you're one of the treasures and I'm so glad that well I have picked you up and that um, they're so lucky to have you because for me, you're one of the MVPs. As all the admin team are, they're all... MVPs, they've all been here since the start, and um, Spiel is the newbie, and by God, she's brilliant as well, you know. So it's great to see us all on. Yes, yeah, a lot of people on. Pauline, how are you? Great to see. Um, great to see Stephen in Puerto Rico today. Hopefully, he gives us a lot of questions. Yes, Anna, if I get to go over, um, we'll get to spend a little time. I mean, I can interview you here on Facebook, you know. I'm gonna try to see if I can uh, contact Jack Martin. Because uh, you all love that post during the week about Jack and his incredible transformations. He really has cornered that market and he does it so well. Um, to ask him the questions that we all want to ask. So, um, yeah, hopefully I actually, um, ho yeah, hopefully we can make that happen. I'll, 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 um, I'll, uh, he's a very, he's a very, uh, he's a brilliant man. And as people said, there's so many people these days. Everybody's brilliant at different things and it's a great thing. You know, there's no, there's no one top colorist. You have people who are brilliant at melts. If people who are brilliant to balayage, if people who are brilliant to grey transformations, if people who are brilliant with skin tone, I'm feeling pretty, I'm pretty good with skin tone, uh, technique, uh, technique behind the chair, platform artists, avant-garde uh, artists, photographic, I think Robert Eaton's probably one of the greatest uh, photographic colorists we've, we, we've seen, I mean he has just an incredible eye and his preparation is uh, terrific. Hi Salas, how are you? Great to see you all on. David, what's going on? What's going on? Um... He's wonderfully talented, so hopefully I'll get a chance to either, um, you know, I'd, lo I'd love to spend a day with him, actually. I'd love to spend a day with one of his transformations and film it all for for um, for um Wella and film it all for you guys at some stage. Al oh, Morag, you're on from nearly the start. Hiya, Darren, how's it going? Good to see you on, sir. Uh, great to see so many community members, and it's great, to, it's great that you're all here, all supporting each other, because that's the key to life. That's the key to, to, to most things in life. So... Uh, yeah, so you, you never know what can happen. Hopefully, if Jack gets to see this, he'll see how how um how wonderful it is. And to remember that you can you don't have to be brilliant at everything. You know, you can be you can be a brilliant mentor. Or you can be a brilliant balayager like Lacey. You can be. You, where, where, I'm coming to Manchester on the eleventh of May. I am about to do a post on it. I just um set it down. I don't know what type of day they're looking to do. See, because they're th I think they were thinking they'll do a look and learn day, but I'd imagine it's going to be quite busy. And I want all of you guys to go. And I'd like to invite a few guests. And I'd like to have it at a great... You've been ill? Are you recovering, Salas? Good man. Good man. Good man. I mean, I'm so it's so scary with the virus. My heart goes out to... to um. The Chinese people at the moment. I hope that the World Health Federation and that all the governments are sending their best people to help them. And um, instead of just closing borders, I hope they're opening up. We should be all working together as a community in this world because if they really think that these things are going to stay in one country, I mean, that's that's like crazy stuff. That's, you know, that's what we have these governments about protectionists and all that. I mean, if somebody coughs in China, somebody will sneeze in Dublin. It's it's a very small world we live in now and we must help each other and protect each other. So let's hope that the the right people are there. I'm sure the World, the world Health Federation is making it, making it making it happen and let's pray for a vaccine and a cure as quick as possible you know so it's really scary our hearts and our minds are with the wella family in china tonight so we said tonight i said i'd start off i, I was going to you know because illuminage kind of kicked off in the page there during the week and um i said i'd kind of talk about that but now i think i just generally talk about illumina because a lot of the questions that were asked about illuminage were actually answered because we found so many different posts where we were able to see uh, what the approach was and the difference and how many different stuff and I thought I'd just do a little bit of a thing hi Angela I do a little bit of a thing on Illumina and there's a few things coming in Illumina so that I'd let you know about the few things that are coming in Illumina a lot of people yeah I'm coming in May it's the 11th I don't even know if they've opened up the dates yet I need to talk to somebody um because uh yeah we need to we need to make sure that it's an absolutely whopper day you know and that I'll be on the I'll be uh I'll be on the mic and doing hair and 
having the crack. I love Manchester. I love the north of England. I just love the people. I love the crack. Uh, and some of the greatest technicians that I've ever worked with, Jamie, um, you know, Mayu, have all come out of Manchester, you know. So it's just, it's an incredible place for talent. You know, it's an incredible place for talent. So we said, I said I'd start with Illumina tonight, okay? Illumina, okay? Illumina is a permanent colour, you know, that has... It, it, you know, if you want to make a violet, you basically use all of the, all of the, um, all of the circle to make a violet. So they've used the violet as their kicker, as their background. Um, and, um, so that creates a, a different type of tone, tonality, if that's an actual word. I know people say it is in music, but maybe not in colour, but we'll use it here because we're hairdressers and we like to have creative influence. Hey, Angela, great to see you. Um. John, how's it going? Come on, and don't be afraid to talk among yourselves here, guys, because I love to hear about the questions. Yeah, David, I'm definitely, I'm definitely doing it the eleventh of May. So if you want to ring tomorrow, um, they mightn't have even set up a number though. I don't think they're kind of aware of how busy it'll be, you know. But um, you know, yeah, no, it's eleventh of May for sure. It's eleventh of May. It's a it's a it's a it's a it's a Monday because I've already marked it out in the salon, and once it's marked out. Yeah, you know, Illumina will never stop, you know, so it has that violet background. And so a lot of people with Illumina, they, they seem to think it doesn't cover grey as well. Or they think it's a little bit too translucent because it doesn't have the heavy brown pigment that you would see in Colliston or, you know, that you would see in some of some of the permanent colours. But it's, it is, um, it covers incredibly well. It's just people sometimes, Q, why are you this? Hi, Andrew Q. Hi, Sophie B. How are you, babes? How's it going? I'm coming to Manchester on the 11th. You know, we can maybe, we can hook up. You know what I mean? Have a bit of crack. Um, So, um, it has a little, as I say, you know, people have this thing about it being translucent. But it covers grey incredibly well. And I think this happened because when Illumina first came out, people were sort of saying, just use 781 on its own if it was around 70, 70% grey. And uh, with that said, hi, Alison, how are you, babes? Good to see you. The last time I was looking, I was that incredible finger of yours. Um, yes, Illumina morphed into something really quite, quite different, down to people like yourself, Tracy, who started to use it for bass breaks and for... You know something, but it has that slight translucency and that slight movement of color, um, which we love to use, and we um and um, actually, it, for a lot of so, for for a lot of its, the bases should be used and um, uh, should be should be used more. Yeah, you 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 know exactly what when I saw that what I was thinking, Alison. I'll say no more. You know, you will say no more. You and your you know, I'll say no more. I'll say no more. You know what I'm talking about, babes. But if you were to mix, say, like um, like a 6.0 and a 7.8.1 together on somebody who's 70 or 80% grey, and just like mix up a, like a, a third 6.0 and two thirds 7.8.1, it will cover, boom, incredibly. 7.7, 7, 7.35, 7, 6.0, 7.7, it'll cover. If you use it on its own, you're going to get 70% 70, 70 coverage with a bit of translucency and dimension, which I absolutely love. But some clients, they want to see that depth of tone. They, they're used to seeing... You know, probably best love. Yeah, absolutely, Alison, absolutely. That would have to be, um, as they say, after hours. Do you know what I mean? After hours. But um, that, that you know, you've completely lost me trying to talk because of you, Alison. And, and that's why I love you. That's why I love you. You know what I mean? That's why I love you. Um, so, yes, put it in your diary. Uh, Manchester, 11th of May. It's going to be a whopper. It's going to be a whopper. Um, and I'm going to be doing a few, I'm going to be doing all the Trendvision stuff for them this year. So I'll be backstage for all you guys. Um, uh, I'll be backstage for nearly all the shows this year and the business stuff and everything. I'm going to do a lot of work with the UK this year. Um, Jason, Tommy, yes, that's very true. Like, I just don't have a problem with a cover in grey. I mean, I just drop the depth down a little bit. I tend to use like 60177 and that gives me a 7077 version. You know what I mean? But I think the use of naturals is not enough. And even sometimes in 1.9 glossing, 
um, if you put a little bit of depth in it, it stops it from 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 lifting. You know, sometimes people have this problem with seven eight one, um, lifting and going quite warm quite quickly as a base break. But if you were to put the tone in with it, because remember, it's not a depth like a normal depth. It's a depth with a violet undertone. So it's a completely different type of depth. Where you know what you know me, guys. You know how I am. I believe the tone is the key to all coloring. I don't. I. I'm. I'm a. I'm a. I'm not a depth person. I'm a tone person. I would always go. I would always go for tone to cover gray because I believe the pigments that you use will make the color last longer. So if you use somebody, if you use more tone in your color, the tone, the color will obviously, um, will will fade, uh, will fade with 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 pigment. But if you don't use enough tone in your color, how's it gonna? It's only gonna fade through translucency. Tickle my pickles, hon. Absolutely, absolutely, Sophie. Absolutely, I will. Absolutely, a hundred percent, Sophie. You don't even have to ask. It's it's a given. It's a given. It's an absolute given. It's an absolute given. But I do think, and this was a big. This is the reason. One of the reasons I want to talk about Illumina tonight. As oh look, Anna the genius is on. So she's adding a bit of stroke seven into every Illumina gray coverage formula. Yes, like there, there, there is a a, a it, to use the bases with Illumina. And not to think of them as bases as they are with other permanent colors. I I I. I mean, I, I prefer Colliston for base breaks personally myself. Seven one eight's my go to at that level, but I mean, if if you, they they do use them in Brazil and they do use them a lot on Illuminage and they use them with seven O and that seems to anchor. As um, I think my good man Nick said, "Hiya, Richard. How's it going? Business coach on there." Um, I do think that um. Uh, you know, if you look at them, they're anchoring their tone uh, with some depth, you know, and in Illumina that the depth isn't the same as the depth would be in, say, Colliston or in uh, another type of um, in another type of tint because it's not it's not taken from the tone because the tone in it is a violet undertone. It's quite strong as it is, you know, and the violet undertone is why what was what makes Illumina so special. Now, for people who don't use Illumina. When you are dealing with somebody who's got coarse grey hair, say they're ninety percent grey, and the grey has got really, really hard and it's got really coarse, and it nearly feels like there's plastic on the hair. You know when grey gets like that. Uh, there, there's high Lucy. Uh, there's nothing that gives grey a dimension and a shine like Illumina. I and uh, nothing, nothing on the planet. You know, it's a little bit more expensive, and it's well, well worth it. I mean, in that sense. Because I, I have so I so a lot of people I think overlook Illumina for very coarse grey hair. They think oh it's translucent, it it won't cover. But actually, it'll cover beautifully, and it'll give the grey hair movement. I used one on Saturday. It was a new client. She came in. I got a cancellation, so she came in on a cancellation. Came in for a skin test on uh Thursday. Wouldn't be my type of client okay she she has a very basic hair color hi holly very basic hair color um very basic tint very basic color color i tend to get really tough things in my chair because you have to wait so long so she wouldn't have probably come to me she wouldn't have waited as long as you have to wait for a cancellation but i got a cancellation friday night she was in for a skin test thursday and i said drop her drop the bomb bring her in i go i'll do, I'll do anyone if i got a cancellation i'll do anything i'll do anyone i'm not i'm not i mean i'm not i neutralize a perm i'll do anton you know rather than stand around you know what i mean i'm just one of them and uh we in she came a very basic hair color looked like it was just like a basic 80 and if you look at a basic 80 when you break it down there does tend to be sort of gold and green elements into it so it has that real sort of mousy kind of greeny look to it which is just not not nice on anyone's skin and i said to her do you like your color you know and she was like um i actually quite do i quite like my color and i was like oh god you know because i didn't like it at all and I said, you know, if you just, if you just, uh, yeah, I neutralize, I do Anton, Karen, I do Anton, you know what I mean? I do Anton, really, I do Anton for you. I just, I'm one of those, you know, because Anton you do builds to another client, you know. If you neutralize a pair you get to know the client, the next thing you know, she's coming to you for a head of highlights. Boom! You know, that's how you stay busy. That's how you stay busy in life, you know. Everything's a building block to the next building block, you know. But there, so there she was. So I said to her, 
I said, like, if you can create, I, so I talked to her about tone and I talked to her about Illumina and I said, Illumina will make your hair look like it used to look when you were in your 40s. You know, that movement and that tone and it'll create that tone. And um, uh, so she was like, it's a, it won't be that much different. I said, no, it won't be that much different. So I used half 813 in Illumina and I used half 80, 6%. Okay, I used that in the root and I combed it through. And now it was a very, still a very basic hair color, but I had that one three look about it. You know, I had like that, just that. And she was looking in the mirror and this is a woman who's been getting her hair color for, for, for 50 years. And she was like, that's the best hint I've ever had. And I was able to say, you see the way it's not heavy at your root? You see the way it's going to grow out? And she was like sold. And I was like, every shop in this street won't have that colour. I says, that's Illumina. That's the creme de la mer of hair colour. That is the best hair colour. And not only is it coverage of grey, but it blocks copper from going in. And we have a huge problem with copper in the water in Ireland. And she was like, boom, she'd be a client for life. You know, and she wouldn't be in. And so I think that's where Illumina... Uh, needs to be looked at and needs to be can be really really used for is that you know you think that coarse gray hair but i used 50 percent 80 50 percent 813 i was going to use that or 81 um and um oh you're back maria great to see you back clive how's it going good to see you on um and it was just a terrifically beautiful basic tint and it was a joy for me to do something so simple because i wouldn't usually um, I would yes, it blocks copper from the water, Tracy. I mean, I met the scientist when he came to Dublin, um, when they were launching Illumina, uh, they la it was an incredible launch in the UK, but it was a smaller launch in Dublin. But this scientist came over and he was here to to test the water. So Illumina, Illumina blocks copper from going into your hair. It has something inside which blocks the co and copper is a huge problem with hair color. That's why so many people are using color renew now, and why you see someone like Jack Martin who who clarifies all his colors before he goes in and uses bleach he clarifies them and takes all the minerals off them because ha because you know half the time the bleach or your or your color the reason your colors aren't taken is because of the minerals stuck to the hair the copper you know the the chlorine the god knows what stuck to their hair i mean half the time it's not taken just because of the minerals you know and that's only getting worse so they people the good people at well people like john lalkoff and stuff like that they're not only working on making gray hair color but they're also working on stopping these impurities from going into the hair in the first place and if that, if that and that's going to be incredible so i have the shade chart here i'll go through a little bit of a bit of it here with you guys okay I don't have all the shades here, I don't think. You know what I mean? I don't have all the shades here. Yeah, so it blocks copper in the world. You didn't know that. But I'll go through my favourites, okay? I'll go through my... my. I mean, I, I love 676. You know why? Like, it just it's just that luxurious, uh, deep brunette. And yet, it's not really dark. What's the best product to, to clarify with? Colour Renew. Um... Alaval will tell you the exact measurements you do with you do it with warm water and that um that that clarifies and takes them out but definitely before big color transformations clarification is seems to open their hair up a lot more and allow the bleach to actually do its job it seems to be um like a a key i'm I'm noticing it more and more and more and more you see the seven seven got lost there i don't know where that's gone um but color renew is 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 the one for removing minerals I'm a little tired of the soldier. I'm off to bed. No problem, Alison. You take it easy. Have a nice little sleep, love. I know it's after 12 in Dubai. Have a nice little sleep. You're working hard, babes. So I hope I get to see you in Dubai at some stage. 743 uh, is absolutely incredible. I always mix it with 70 because I like... I like... um, I like I like the depth to anchor it. You know what I mean? I like... I like to have that depth and I like to have that tone. It's nearly the opposite in Colliston. I like if there's an eight oh seven, I'll use it on its own, or I'll mix a bit of nine one with it. You know what I mean? I I one part to tell much. I you know, color renew. There like there's Anna the genius. Um, I, that's probably my favorite. There's the there. That's probably um seven six seven is just beautiful and it covers incredibly well. Seven 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 four three. Uh, nine seven is a stunner. Nine four three is absolutely to die for, cause it just gives you that copper that's not too that's not really hot. Hiya Leo, how are you, sir? Good to see you on. Love following you from Amsterdam. You're a top man. And you see, so remember that the neutrals, they're not like heavy. They're not heavy neutrals. You know what I mean? They're not heavy neutrals. 
So don't be afraid to mix the neutrals. They cover really, 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 really well. Okay. Now they, they added a new color, and I think they're going to happy Chinese New Year, Leo. We're pre we're we're. Well, all the best for you. We celebrated the other day. We had some duck, but I'm on a diet, so. You know, I love duck. I love everything. I love everything. That's just the problem. So 960 is a real hero colour. I mean, it looks really purple when it's developing. So you have to trust the pro. See, see you can see the violet undertones in them. So I used this on this client the other day and she couldn't believe that her hair could look mousy and yes, look really shiny and a nice colour. You know, so so like there's no need, there's never a reason to not use pigment, you know, because the one is a cool, the one is a cool neutral. One isn't an ash, there's no green in, in no, not really much green. Hiya, John, you can give me the score of Liverpool. You're always, I'm now, I'm, well, I'm no, I'm not always, I'm never on a diet, Amanda. That's the problem. I'm never on a diet, but I'm on a diet now and I, I've lost a few pounds. That's all I'll say. But I'm going to have a drink after this and then all hell breaks loose. So there's never a reason to, you know, to not. I do love everything. I love everything. I love life. I love it all. I love you guys. I love you all. You know, I love you all. I love celebrating your wins with you. You know, I love that more than Anton in the world, I think, really. Look at the colour of my nails. Look, hard working man. Look at the colour of my nails. Look. Look, hard working man, okay? Hard working man. 2 1 to the pool. That's what I like to hear, okay? Hard working man, all right? I'm behind the chair with you guys. Magella, I'll pretend I didn't see that, okay? I'll pretend I've had, a, I've had a day of people asking me on the page, can they do things that are completely against the guidelines? And then I'll tell them it's okay. And I'm afraid that's something I can't do. But if you guys do it, then, you know, whatever. But I, I can't. But love you all. Love you all. So there's never a reason to not use the tone. 805 is an incredible colour. I don't think I've ever seen a colour in any sh shade that has that has a, a level of mahogany. A level of mahogany at, at, at a base eight. You know what I mean? It's just, it's that sort of strawberry mahogany sort of, it's an incredible colour. I, and it's absolutely stunning. And then you have all the tens that everyone loves. Yeah, all the tens that everyone loves. Uh, 960, I, I love to use 960 and 943 to get it. Like, so, so, so say one of my zigzags, like on a full head colour. So I'd use 943 and then I'd use 960 and you get like a beige copper, beige copper, beige, 2122. Two, two. Oh God, Hollis, it's close there. 2-2 two, two now at the pool. <sighs> You know, I don't care. We're, we're, we're doing so well in the league. I mean, I don't really mind, you know. And I, I, I don't really, I'm not, I'm not going to get upset about it. Put it that way. You know. So I love to use 960 and 943 together. I love the mixture of sort of the soft beige with the, with, with the, um, with the silver stuff. You have to go. No problem, Maria. No problem. No problem at all. No problem at all. And then there's 1069, which is probably the one of the biggest selling colors in the world, I, I would say. I would say, you know, I would say that nearly all the top selling colors in the world are probably um like base sixes and base sevens. But I bet you, right, I bet you I put money on it. Uh, I bet you 1069 is one of the biggest selling in this range here. I bet you it's one of the few tens that sells. I bet you like it's always sixes and fives that are, you know, what everybody buys. But I bet you 1069 because nothing, nothing kills yellow really like 1069. Have they? Yeah, they're bad at the back, John. That's life. That's life. I love 1093. I think it's really expensive. And Jason Gray did a photo shoot a few years ago where he used he used this with myself. We got up really early one Sunday morning. And Jay, Jason's a man for, for, for photographic, you know. He's one of the best photographic colorists in the world. And he's a man for platform. He's one of the best platform artists in the world. Um, He really is. He, that, that's his really... That's Because for years he did it for Tony and Guy. You know, traveling the world, he had to just arrive and do 10 models for the next morning to be on stage. So that's been his life. You know what I mean? So now they've added the new shades. So that's all the shades, guys. But my tip of today is don't be afraid to use some neutral with Illumina. OK, it's no big deal. OK, so the new shades coming are 1081, which I'll imagine will be beautiful. I mean, it'll be a little bit heavier than 1069 because of the one being a pastel. 
you know, or the, the one being a slight blue and then the neutral. So it'll be a heavier tone than 1069, but I'd imagine it'll become very, very popular with... um. Thanks, uh, Anna, for 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 posting the color renew services. I think it's something we do if you if we are approaching stripping hair or lightening hair, it it might just have to become, um, one of those things because definitely the key to, to to transformational uh lifting seems to be taking the the minerals and everything off the hair before you start bleaching it. That seems to be. And it's something that we don't think about, you know. It's something we don't. It's something we don't have time for. Let's be honest. Behind the chair, we don't. We, you know. I totally agree, John. I totally agree. I'd like like a ten eight one for me. I mean, I I'm a warm man. Okay, with ten eight one, and then there's nine one nine, which I will imagine will be a beautiful toner. Nine one nine, because the one will just will 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 basically mask your any warmth because it's a cool neutral, and then the nine will show true and you'll just get that that sort of champagne uh vibe you know so i would imagine that the 919 will be, will be very popular with me because uh, you know guys you know i love my beige blondes and at a certain age i just feel i feel women need to be they need to have a certain level of warmth for their skin you know what i mean they need to they need it for their skin it's very hard to wear ash uh it, it it you know when you get older because it, it brings out the lines in your face so for at a certain age uh i won't say that age but uh, it would be my age um you, you know a little a little bit of beige certainly complements the skin and helps helps an awful lot you know oh thanks marta i am a peach then you've got the one that everyone went mad for when i posted it from casablanca at that time the 959 which is which is very much like the um the old soft oyster beige we used to have in Colliston all those years ago. When you're lifting the beige, why? When you tone, yeah, a lot of a lot of people like to use alumina, um, when they're toning, they like to use it even though it's a permanent color and even though there's a chance that it will lighten the base. They 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 just like to use it, Marta. A lot of people actually like the lift that it gives on the base. You know, and there's nothing wrong with that. I see it on the page. Other people who don't want lift and don't want it to lift their base, well, then they shouldn't use that. You know what I mean? But the people that do want it, um, and an awful lot of people do. So, you know, my tip, the tip for today, is to add a little bit of base neutral to anchor it and to deepen it. And that should help against, against that. You know what I mean? That should help against that. And uh, for a lot of the time, if you're toning with Illumina, I think you should be looking at mids and ends, you know? And you should be looking at glossing and it shouldn't be on. Yeah, you should just avoid the roots like Tracy said there. You know, just work on the mids and the ends and, and then use your hands and rub it in. But 597 is very like the soft oyster beige we used to have. I think it was called 95 in Colliston. Um, how much base do you use? I like to use about a, between a quarter and a third it all depends on the gray hair you know about a quarter to a third or a half and half if it if they're if they're really gray michelle i like a half and half because it isn't like a base in a normal um in a normal tint it isn't a heavy base so sometimes you can use a 6-0 and it's not heavy it's not heavy you know but it covers brilliantly okay it covers uh it covers so the other one then is which everyone seems to have forgot about is eight nine three, and eight nine three, um is and I think as well just to go back to that base but what when they don't have to do if they don't have to deal with roots and you don't want any of that just use uh oh you have a tube of nine five in your ear just use um the demis just use relights don't there's no need for that this is you know you don't have to use it if you don't want to you know what I mean. You don't, yeah. You don't. You don't have to use it if you don't. If you don't want it, but a lot of people like to use it, and it's very, very popular, particularly in South America and particularly in Argentina. Um, yeah, it's particularly popular in, in parts of America. Um, you know, so you, you actually see different countries that go for different things. It's very popular in China, but they have a different type of alumina because they can only use twenty volumes. So there's a much stronger pigment in the alumina in in uh, in Asia, and I'd love to use it. You know, I would love to. Hi, Christopher. How's it going? I'd love to try it. But the A38, I'd imagine, will be an absolutely beautiful tint as well. I I think it'll give you that really slightly Nordic feel where you'll just get that slightly, you know, that sort of natural blonde Nordic color. 
the nine will go in and just give it a bit of de depthness and then um the three so the eight nine three will be interesting yeah i'd like half and half if i'm covering strong gray like that lady i did on saturday i used half uh eight eight one three and half eight oh hey christopher good to see you on sir how you keeping yo how you keeping um it's great to see us all in LA doing the doing the training. I'll have to get over to LA one of these days and it'd be so so much fun to catch up with you and Anna and uh Galini and uh Annaval. It would just be imagine the conversation, imagine the crack. You know, it would be great fun. It would be it would be just absolutely amazing. You know, so what's coming for Illumina is because they're used because a lot of people are using it for glossing and they're using it for um Balayages, they're, they're they're how you doing? I'm doing good. They created these clear wraps, which I haven't got my hands on. And Julie, the amazing Julie from Geneva, who works with all things Illumina, only told me about it on I mean, I didn't even know these existed. You know, I didn't even know the higher Reiner. How are you, sir? I didn't even know that these clear wraps existed. Okay, I'm gonna get a picture of them for you because I I was like. I couldn't believe that these so these clear wraps will be brilliant for working with uh I have so many phones, you know that I'm like a I'm like a I'm here we go. So there's the clear wraps. See them? So they're they're rewashable and then they're reusable and they're dry and they'll be brilliant for checking over balayage and I believe they're brilliant for um You'll have to ring Manchester, guys, and I'm going to see when they're opening up the dates because I, it, it'll be a big class. I don't know if they're aware of um, how big it's going to be. And it's going to be brilliant. I can't wait for it. It's going to be brilliant. So I, I love the idea of these. I mean, they're reusable. They're rewashable, which means they're kinder to the environment. And we do have to look at all this stuff, guys. I know, I know, I know. But we do have to look at it. We do have to follow... You know, we do have to work together around the world. So they've created these to help us with our, with you know, with our freehand work or for being able to see through. Um, yeah, I love that they're reusable. And I I, I mean, Julie dropped this to me on, on I, I, could, I nearly fell over. They used to make these years ago. I did a, sh I did a, a demo, I did a video. Yeah, I did a how-to video and I'd love to find it and show it to you guys because I'm at, at least two stone lighter. And uh, it was done in the Wella studio. Um, that was like back in the day. Myself and Shay did it. Uh, and um, I'd, I'd love to find it if I could. Because I used these clear wraps. And, and the work I was doing at the time was very avant-garde. And it was it was well. It, 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 was, it was way out there. You know what I mean? I'd love to try and find it. And they've come up with. So these are they're called the Illuminage Clear Sheets. Okay. I don't know when they're coming for sales. No, there's no sticky top, um, Steph. There's no sticky top. Um, there's no need. They're for learner drivers, Steph. You don't need them. You don't, how many beers have you had, Steph? Many beers. There's no there's no there's no sticky glue on the top of them. They're, they're rewashable. You just put them in, boom, boom, and you're off. You're off. No, no, no need for learner drivers here. You're all experts. And then hang on here. Then they've brought out a brush. They've brought out a painting brush, which looks very like a brush that all you guys use on the page. It starts with a, the letter F. Um, we, we have to behave in a responsible way. John Morrison's 100%. So they've brought out this beautifully sparkly brush. Spila just uh, put up a picture of it, so maybe she can even drop the picture here on the comment. And again, I'd hope to have this brush and I hope to have these sheets in my hand by next just a one Steph have you Jesus you're sipping you're sipping are you I'd have at the glass by now I'd be I'd be on the third one and I'd be singing looking back for Michelle Michelle put up Garth Brooks the other night and I've been singing it ever ever all the fr I th thank you because I don't want to say it you know but doesn't it look like that brush and it's all sparkly and illuminous and I, I I love the look of it I want those clear wraps and I want um one of those brushes and let's see how we get on with them or so they're the two and the kids won't leave you alone will they not it's so annoying you know when you're in your head to your kids you're going you're going in your head you're going go away and you feel so bad because they haven't seen you all day and you're on your phone and you're like yeah 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 i know i know and it's a beautiful color darling and you're in your head going go 
away. Isn't it terrible that you like that with your own children? Isn't it terrible that you're... But I, I get like that. We all do. You know, you're sitting there trying to have your beer. You just want to say to them, will you please give me a break? Do you know what I mean? Will you please? Standing Outside the Fire is a great tune. Great tune. But it's, I'm just waking up, Maura. I'm waking up going, looking back on the memory of... And then my day. And then I'm gone on. And then I'm downstairs, you know. And then I'm putting the kettle on. And then it starts again. The night we had for a moment. It's just going on. It's all day. All day. It hasn't stopped. It hasn't stopped. Michelle Young from Belfast. She caused all that, you know. So the Illumina Rangers get I, I feel as well I saw a picture about um seven oh two and six oh two. That's one I'm nervous of, but gold, I'm not sure. I got four wishes. I wish they would go away. <laughs> I I love that Chantel, I love that and um I love that. It's great to have you on, babes, great to have you on. Yeah, I, I like it's hard to hit the notes with Garrett at times. Uh, I nearly need to say, say and I, I'll practice it though for you, Liz. All right, I'll practice it for you. Do you know what I mean? I practice, I practice, I practice, I practice it for you. Yeah, you like you, but they, I saw seven oh two and six oh two. I don't know if they're going to be released in Europe. Guy Tang is nothing now. Yeah, I, I, I haven't got Guy's body, but um, yeah, I, I, you know. But I have a sense of humour. But so has Guy, actually. He's got a sense of humour, too. And um, I've contacted him about a few things, and he's always got back to me, and he's a total gentleman, I have to say. Total gent. And, uh, yeah, you know, what can you say? You know, fair play to him. He's living his dream. He is living his dream, and good, good on him. You know, nobody has to go out and not buy them if they don't want to. He's living his dream. Living his dream, and fair play to him. So Tracy, uh, in her brilliance, asked me a question about money. And um, I've done stuff before about money maps and, you know, what you focus on grows. So you've got to focus on your money and how to understand your overheads and to understand how little you can make from a salon. But to express that and, you know, that you have to pay, you have to pay people really well. You have to pay people fair. You can't, um, you can't build, um, in my opinion, you can't, um, build off the back of other people you, they have to be a part of who you are you have to you know they have to be a part of of um they have to be a part of it not um they're not there to serve you you know nobody's there to serve they're there to be a part of your team and to be a part of 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 and they and that it's only fair you know that people aren't are, you know so i went through all that again i was thinking about money and i'm still thinking about stuff to do with this so there's another sunday service coming about the stuff that i'm working on but i'm not, I'm not finished on it yet because i haven't got the answers back to know if it's bs or if it actually works but this is something that i know is true and again i only talk to you about stuff that i i, I know um is kind of true and so so I, I'll ask you this question, right? If if um, somebody asked me this and I thought it was brilliant, you know, I thought it was absolutely brilliant. Hiya, Leslie. How's it going? How are you? Thank you. Do you choose? To, oh, you guys are talking among yourselves. Great. Answer away. I'll, I'll try to answer you all later. You know, it's more of a sand beige. You know, what's a lovely sand beige is a one three. One three is a beaut. One three is a beaut. Beautiful sand beige. I love a one and I love a three mixed together. Um, my particular favourites in Colliston are um actually I love eight oh seven and eight one. I love nine oh three and nine one. Um I love eight one and nine oh three. I love eight seven and nine one. They're all beautiful beiges. All of them I'd recommend. Gorgeous. And they're lovely on they're lovely on uh female skin at a certain age. They're just beautiful, beautiful. You use the right amount of gold and the right amount of ash. You know, so you just have that you know, right amount of ash and right amount of gold. It's beautiful. It's always a champagne kind of vibe. You know what I mean? We're like bold kids talking about there. Yeah, but it's good. I love it. I love to see the community talking. I love to see you sharing your positivity and sharing your, you know, I love to see all that. And and so, so this, this is, so this is, this is, this is a question I'm going to ask you guys. Okay. Okay. So if I came up to you and I gave you a medal, okay. And with this medal, okay. Now bear with me. Okay. Are we, are we, are we with it? Female skin. Yeah, you can't put on beige on men's skin just doesn't work, um Salas. So I'll give you one uh reason why it doesn't work. I'll give you one name, okay? Donald Trump. Okay? Donald Trump. We'll leave it at that, okay? 
he wears beige skin he's got beige hair beige suits and it doesn't work it it just doesn't work it donald okay the donald can't rock that beige somebody needs to throw in a bit of a1 in there in a firm or something or i don't know i mean nine eight i'd like to see nine eight I'd shave it to be honest. Anyway, I take I take that ferret off his head. He's wearing a ferret there. You know he's got the ferret on his head, telling that young sixteen year old girl to be positive. Really, he's not going to be alive, but she is. He's telling her be positive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll be dead. He'll be dead. He'll be dead, and Greta will be still alive. You know, and she'll be looking down at him. You know, so uh, yeah, she 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 you want to take that with a pinch of salt there, uh, Greta. You know what I mean? The Donald. Back to the questions, okay? Back to the question, okay? He used his mother's form. Brilliant, Martin. He probably... I can see him doing it himself. You know, I can see him doing it himself because he wouldn't trust anyone else. Uh, I can see him doing it himself. And then the makeup. And, when you know, when he misses the eyes and he's got all the, 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 the makeup on and the eyes. And his wife's an absolute beaut, you know? She's an absolute beaut. I'm mad about his wife. Mad. God love her. She never, she never signed up to be the first lady, did she? You know, the poor thing. I I, I love her. Sort Trump's out. I'd sort him out with a... You know what I'd sort him out with, Salas? I'd sort him out with a razor. That's what I'd sort him out with. I mean, he needs to get rid of that head. Um, I love your name, Olympia. Is it? I love your name. You like my accent. I love your name. You know, I love... I love... I, I love all the ladies. It's well known. Don't get Salas going now. You know, when he puts up a good-looking picture of a good-looking girl, he knows... He knows, he knows, he's, he knows, I'm, I, he, he's always at me. He's always at me. I think she knows what her job is. She's, 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 she's beautiful though. She's absolutely great. Her, now sometimes they never get her parting right. You know what I mean? And um, her parting doesn't sit properly at times. But um, she's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, Salas, don't, don't, don't start. Who's Trump's hairdresser? Trump is Trump's hairdresser, okay? Some of the, you, you see this a lot, particularly in the royal family or with people at a certain level. You know, there's very, very few people that they can trust. So they end up with, with sort of their granny's hairdresser because anybody else is going to sell the story to the press. So the higher you go up, like the, the less chance you are having a good hairdresser because so many people tend to sell stories about them. And you know what they do? I knew a guy who, who worked with the royal family and did a bit of work on them and did he sell the story yes he did do you know what i mean so i don't blame them you know what i mean so um he probably just does it himself in the bedroom while she's uh locking the door you know triple locking the door with a tube lock you know you know um, princess anne's hair i like i loved princess anne i loved her princess anne uh, princess anne's hair was bananas wasn't it? it was beautiful though princess anne was wild but back to this question, okay? Because it sounds like we could be on here for about five hours tonight with you guys, which is great. I don't mind. The family are out. I've locked the door. Nobody's coming in. We're free. We can do what we want here. We can have a party. I can put some music on. You know what I mean? We can we can have a dance, you know. Rue Rinse, you're so right, Marty. You remember those Rue Rinses? Which one would he be? Hang on now. Hand on, hang on. So the Shy Violet. Um, Platinum Plus. He needs Platinum Plus, Marta, actually. He needs Platinum Plus on it. Platinum Plus. Um, Black Rage. Um, frivolous Fawn. Frivolous Fawn. Frivolous Fawn. Frivolous Fawn. Boom. Did it. Marta. See, you think, I'm, you think I'm younger than I am. You know what I mean? All you just have to do. Yeah, now, Boris is, is, yeah, well, I'm not here to political, but he, he wouldn't be the brightest spark, would he? You know what I mean? And he's definitely never got in as a British politician. Finish 2-2 two -two at Anfield. Another replay. Christ. Oh, my God. Yeah, Boris is like him. Um, he'd have never got in without Brexit. You know, I actually think in... in a, if you remember Frivolous Fawn, Black Rage, uh, Chocolate Kiss, Frivolous Fawn, Platinum Plus, Shy Violet, White. Was it, was it White Sand? I'm not sure. I had to put them on in the basins. You know, you had to make sure you covered them really well. Do you remember that Shy Violet? It was this pink. It was like Canary. It was canary pink. Rob's gas. For all you young hairdressers, you haven't a clue what we're talking about. You can go out and Google it. And, um, you know, they'll probably take it. Hey, Michelle, they'll probably take a, an upsurge in sales now. Plush brown. That was it. That, that thing covered. That thing would be all over your eyebrows. It'd be brown all down. If it rained at all, you'd have, like, brown, brown. White minks, brown. 
brown everywhere, brown all over your shorts. And she'd be walking out and you go, I do we look okay? You're know, brown on her shirt, brown in her ears. You look great, Mrs. Rogers. You look great. Have a lovely night. Have a lovely night. She'd actually look a little bit like Trump looks now, you know. But here's the question, okay? Here's the question. It's a Sunday question. You'd know there was nobody in, wouldn't you? You'd know I was free as a board here. They're usually downstairs. They're usually downstairs and I'm thinking, God, how long do I have? But there's nobody here. There's nobody here. You know, we could be place your bets. We could turn it into a casino. You know? We could turn it into a casino. Question time. Okay? Question time. Okay. I used to love me weekly shader from Super Drugs. Do you remember those shaders from Super Drugs? Do you remember them? Everyone had sort of a pink fringe. It was the only bit that took was the fringe. You know, the Auburn one, Cheryl. Do you remember it? I remember dating a girl. Susan Corcoran was her name. Carlos Cart. Um, she had one of those shaders in and had a little bit of Auburn at the front and she had the, the makeup on. She was a new romantic, you know? She was a new romantic and... Um, she lived miles away from me. She was two buses away. Two buses to get there, three buses to get back. Never understood it. You know, that's life. That's life. I love the pure pinks set in lotions. Do you remember those? They still make... I know, they still make those set in lotion. John Morrison, what a question. I'm going to answer this question for you. John, Tracy would have to wait because this is this is a serious question. You remember those set in lotions? Do you remember the blue ones and the pink ones? And there was so much alcohol in them. John, you could have drank them and got jarred. You know, they were so strong. The Queen still uses those setting lotions. They were made by Wella. And they still make them to this day for HRH. They're still made. There's still a carton of them made every year. And uh, whenever a new GM comes in, it's one of the first things he has to do. A new GM in the UK, he has to make sure that they're still made for HRH. Uh, I love her hair as well. I love the woman. I think she's an absolute gem. And the fact that she wore the, the Euro outfit at um the House of Parliament that time with the whole blue outfit and the... The European thing on her on her hat. Google it and you'll see it, the European thing on her hat. I mean, she's she's incredible. But, you know, she was telling you exactly where she stood. Yeah, they still make it, John. And I remember I was doing um, I was doing a launch for um. Oh, I can't remember which one it was, but I remember the GM telling me, and I had to be picked up off the ground. I had to be picked up off the ground. Yeah, I know. I love the Queen. I'm a big I'm a big Queen fan. Massive Queen. Now, massive, absolutely massive. And the fact that she wore a blue dress for Christmas Day and had the, 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 the Euro crest uh, brooch around her, she, 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 doesn't, she doesn't wear anything without it meaning something. I mean, she's, like, she's up there. She's like De Niro, Pesci, you know, uh, Martin Scorsese, uh, the Queen, you know. She's one of these. She's, just, she's been doing that job forever, you know. Um, incredible. Hi Jeanette, how's it going? How are you Pete? How's it going? Uh, unbelievable the, 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 the tangents we're going on tonight. Unbelievable. So back to this question. Trace, this question goes straight out to you Tracy and I, I know your answer but think about it, okay? Think about it. Think about it, okay, for a while. Hiya Jason, I was talking about you earlier how you used to have to travel halfway around the world. There's Mr. Jason Gray. Say hello to him everybody. But more Bohemian Rhapsody. Listen, she's she's very cool, uh, Karen. Look up um look up the Brexit, uh the Queen's speech for Brexit and look at her outfit. Uh, she's she's basically saying, I love the Euro. I love being European. And I mean for her to do that in Parliament to you know, that's a woman who's doesn't hold back. Right. <sighs> Jesus, I'm talking. And Jason there, go all say hello to Jason. <sighs> okay. So if I gave you guys a medal, okay, and with this medal, okay, you could buy anything in the world. Anything in the world. Once you had the medal, you showed them the medal and you could buy a helicopter, you could buy a building, you could buy the Empire State Building, you could buy the Eiffel Tower, right? You can buy anything, anything that you can buy for money, you can buy, Okay. Yeah, no, she's she's brilliant. She's brilliant. You can buy anything that money can can that money can buy. You can buy with this medal. Okay, so this is this medal, Tracy. I'm standing in front of you with this medal. Okay, and I'm saying to you, with this medal, Tracy, you can buy anything the world has to offer. Anything 
at all. Anything at all. Okay. But the terms and the conditions of you of you buying there's there's my watch clicking to say that I've burnt enough calories today. Boom. I was out there this morning. Okay, now no, I'm not finished, Tracy. So the terms and conditions of this is if I give you the medal, okay? You have to keep the medal for 30 years. Okay? You feeling me? You've got to keep the medal for 30 years and you are not going to feel any feelings for the full 30 years. For the full duration of the 30 years. Okay? So for the tour for the for the full duration of the 30 years, you will feel nothing. But you can buy everything. Everything you've ever wanted, you can buy. Everything you've ever needed, everything you've ever dreamt about, everything you've ever. But the, the keys the keys to the service are are that you must keep the medal for 30 years and that you will never feel again for those 30 years. Okay? So they're the keys. So when you hear that, you know, and if you buy a helicopter but you can't feel like what it feels like to buy a helicopter or you can you can pay for research to cure somebody but you can't feel what it feels like to do that or you can buy the best education for your children that they can ever have but you can't feel what it's going to feel like to watch them graduate that you can buy um anything and the things that are coming up in my head now most of them are rude that you can buy anything at all you know or anything uh, at all but you can never feel what it feels like to have to 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 to, to do you never you never feel a breeze again you never feel you never laugh with me you'd never laugh here with me because you wouldn't feel me and i wouldn't feel you you know i wouldn't feel you jason one of the best platform artists that we've ever seen you know Keep the ring, Gollum. I love you, my precious. Oh, my precious. My precious. My precious. It's a tough one. It's a tough one because you say to yourself, I just like six months and I'll buy everything that I can feel again and feel again. So, but basically, you can have everything, but you won't feel anything. So, nah, exactly. So, where does. So, money's so important okay i mean never downplay the importance of money you need it for everything in life and you know how i feel about you guys undercharging and underselling yourselves and under you know under under you know how annoyed i get marty you know particularly how annoyed i get because we're, we're led probably too much by our feelings but what does it tell you that what's more important in life is is it's it's not what it's not so much what the money does for you it's how it makes you feel okay it's how it makes you feel so if if at the core of all your decisions is is how it makes you feel like when you first went into hairdressing like i know for you tracy um you didn't come from a hairdressing background you came and you know later in life but i know for you it was discovering base breaks it was discovering low volume peroxides that made you and it was discovering how to paint that made you feel a certain way and it's those feelings that if you hold that will create success do you understand what i mean it's not it's it's the money is is is, is a part of it but at your core how you feel how you feel inside is so much more important. Uh, like how you feel is the core and then outside is money and friendship and family and your job and your career. But like, I mean, when like, and there will be to like, when I, yeah, there will be tough days, you know what I mean? Like at, at its core, I love communicating and I love helping hairdressers. And I love being on the page. It makes me feel good. It doesn't mean I don't have days on the page where I'm so tired you know or i'm so i'm so i'm so down from answering the same question a million times but that's just part of life you know that's part of life that so anything that you anything that you think money can make make you is a feeling and you can create that feeling and if you create that feeling the money will arrive 
And now it mightn't be to the amount that you, but you want, and it mightn't be to the amount that you need. You know, there's an awful lot of people out there who think they have to have all this money to make them feel good, and they don't. They really, really don't. You know, if you've got time with your kids and you've got time to take care of your health and your health insurance and you can go for a massage and you can have a glass of wine and you can work a four day week or two day week or a five day week. If you've got time then uh, and you have energy, that's way more important. You know, that's way more important. You'll often listen to Gary Vee. He'll say to a 23 year old, I'll give it all up just to be 23 again. You know why? Because they've got time and they've got energy. You know what I mean? They've got... You just want new boobs. Okay, we, we'll sort that out for you, Tracy, okay? We'll, do, we'll sort that out for you, okay? We'll sort that out for you. So, because that's, we know how that makes you feel. So, we'll sort out that for you. We, we'll do a GoFundMe for you at a certain stage. I just have to word it properly, if you know what I'm saying. But, you know, um, like get your health and your energy. Now, mo- I'm, I'm not downplaying the importance of money. I just wanted to put a different take on it tonight than we had you know, than we had than than we usually have on it. You know, so that the what you're really looking for a lot of the time is is not so much the million in the bank, but it's how the million in the bank will make you feel, which will make you feel chilled and it'll make you feel more relaxed and stuff like that. But you know, if if you if somebody offered you a coin that doubled uh that doubled in, in price every day or they offered you a million bucks, which would you which would you take? You know, and you most likely probably take the million bucks because of how it would make you feel straight away. But the coin that doubled in value would be worth five million in a month. And what that tells you is, is that if you, if you, if you, if you, if you bet on yourself and if you, if you do stuff and it doubles and it doubles and it doubles and it doubles, that everything in life that's really sustainable, that's successful, that does well, that's a part of your life. You know, a part of your life, um, it happens little by little. You know what I mean? That it happens, it happens, little by little by little. You know that um, the 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 best things in life are what you know what rich people say. <laughs> you know that if but you have to feel it first. You have to feel if you want to be successful. If you remember why you went into hair and why you like it and why you love it, do you love a, a, doing a beautiful haircut? Do you love doing a beautiful color? Uh, do you love you, you know, hiya Jane, how's it going? We're all hoping for you. I hope your um treatment's going well. Um I saw you there chewing on your sandwich. I hope you're going well. Um Love you, Jane. Hope you're okay. I'm got, I'm coming to Manchester in uh, you know, I'll hope I'll hope I get over to see you this year. Um your treatment's gonna go great. You're gonna be great, okay? You stay here. We'll all all the hugs out to you at the moment. We we love you, babes. So um, you know, um all there for you, babes. All there for you, Jane. But you've got to feel it first. You know, you've got to feel. I know for Jane, Jane gets immense pride and immense, because uh, she feels the joy in painting. She feels the joy in, in painting and being a, and and, you know. There's no need for pride here, Jane. This is an Instagram. This is Facebook, babes. We keep it real here. You know, the more authentic, the better. You know what I mean. You're among friends here. You're you're among friends here, um, Jane. You're among friends, and uh, never forget that. You never forget that. But you've got to you've got to feel it first. In my opinion, you've got to feel it first, and then if and you've got to hold on to those feelings, you know. And it, and um. Yeah, true, John. I mean, even now, I'm trying to work a work life balance that works for myself, and then I'm trying to do other things and stuff. But um, my, a lot of my joy came from from being online and being with you guys and so i followed my joy and my my advice above everything else tonight is to follow your joy okay follow your joy it's it's the only thing that really matters is to follow your joy and you know to 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 love people around you and to love yourself and to love your health and to care for people around you and for and, and for them to care for you and to follow follow your joy follow what's in your heart follow your joy and if that's not hair that's okay you know some people around they hate it they shouldn't be doing it i see them on the page they shouldn't be doing it it's not it's not their joy it's not their love you know most people who go into a job just to make loads of money uh it it, it rarely works out i i they're in my chair you know a lot of them very very wealthy very very successful very very unhappy 
okay there is a few who are who are obviously not but and i'm not down in money do you understand i want to be rich i want that million pound check okay i'm actually working on something to make it happen do you know what i mean i want that but i don't expect it to just fall into my lap do you know what i mean i expect it, i i understand that if you see something and you feel you can make it happen and it gives you joy it's the joy like it's the joy of of watching this community grow um like there was nearly 300 members this week it's incredible it's the joy of watching you guys um that you know if you can you know, follow your joy and if your joy isn't doing like color color transformations or if it's in doing bleach up or if it's in cutting hair if it's in blow drying if it's being with people do it at a level that makes you happy charge don't be afraid to charge your worth and spend time with your family and spend time with your kids and and try and you know but try and try and have the joy first and then the job and then everything else after it you know what i mean because think about that question you know if you could have it all with the metal have it all but you couldn't feel it you wouldn't want it okay so that tells you that how you feel in life is the most important thing how you feel in inside is the most important thing you know you know but that doesn't mean that you undercharge it doesn't mean that you, you you don't make money it doesn't mean that you don't want to be wealthy it doesn't mean any of those things i want all of them go away a couple of times a year enjoy my life I expect to be successful. I expect to be wealthy. You know what I mean? I've no, no you, you know, you're still having problem charging your worth. I'm going to do another question. I'm going to do another uh, thing on that. But that's a lot of it again is that it's looking for that love and approval uh, outside ourselves, Marty. You know, it's looking for where you, that love and approval you have here. Everybody loves you here in the group. Everybody loves who you are. And you love yourself. You're an amazing singer. Uh, you know, you're part of that, 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 you know, that, who you are like radical you know radical radical self-acceptance even though i'm on a diet i completely accept who i am i completely accept the way that i am um you know i i i, I have i i i you know i would advise radical self-acceptance and to 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 yeah to, to not look outside yourself that it's inside yourself and to know that within this community when you have your bad you know your bad days you just just go on follow some of the posts someone will make you laugh elizabeth always makes me laugh karen makes me laugh tracy makes me laugh um people make it i make you guys laugh you know that you know you you you, you know yeah, I'm booked out. I like. I need to raise my prices this year, but I I rose I rose them by five percent last year. I went up five percent on the color and five percent the cuts. So that's a double hit on them. But the products have gone up by. Uh, hiya, Danny. Products have gone up by um two percent. I think again. So they need to go up. I need to go up again. But I'm gonna I'm gonna put them up in June because I've just lost a a top stylist and I'm. You know, and I'm again. I'm I'm interviewing for people, but I'm looking for somebody that you know has that type of energy. Then that's the most important thing for me is that they have you know that that they have that you know radical self acceptance is 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 knowing that there's so many things wrong with you marta knowing that there's so many 32 three. yes you did it jane i know we talked about it it's knowing that you've so many things that you're not happy about but you're radically accept them which means you just sort of step over it you you just sort of step you just you don't wait you don't wait to fall in love with yourself. You don't wait to accept yourself. You you make yourself accept yourself. You understand? You make yourself, uh, uh, you know. You know I mean, and so many, you know, and, and you, you just make it. You radically make, you just accept, you force yourself. You force yourself to accept yourself. And then changes become an awful lot easier. You know, it becomes an awful lot easier. And any type of transformation is difficult, Marta. Like, uh, any time, like I, I remember, when, like, like, oh, it's, it's, it's only now that I'm older, I'm aware of how I self sabotage so many things along the way for myself. Like when I won international tram vision, I was, I, I, I'd worked so hard to get to, to that, to that day, you know, that I was so, and I was so close, and it was such a huge award at the time. I was so close. We all love Jane. She's a huge part of the online community and one of the huge stars. We love her, um, and we're we're with her every part of the day. You you ha you have to radically self accept yourself. But that that you know what just bef like it it's like just before just before any type of transformation, there's a huge amount of 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 uh, resistance and a huge amount of change. Like I remember the the, the day in the in my bedroom. 
getting ready to go to the show that night and, and every voice in my head was saying, you don't deserve to win this. You're not good enough to win this. And it was all those voices in my head. But I, you know what it was? I was so close to a transformation because I did win it. And then everything everything changed inside me because suddenly I felt I'm good enough. I'm, 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 I've done it. I've won this award. I've always wanted to win this award. I've done, I've done this. So my brain changed, if you know what I'm saying. My brain changed. Yeah, my brain changed. But life didn't change quick enough for me because then overnight I just thought I was a snizzle. And I expected, you know, to just, um, you know, the world stage. And uh, I'm afraid, back to what we were talking about earlier, life works brick by brick. And I wanted to wake up the next day and to be in, you know, ah, you know, and life doesn't work that way. You know what I mean? It, wor- it works, um, it works, it works properly. It works brick by brick. By brick. And because it didn't ha- because life didn't transform for me as quick as my brain did I wasn't happy you know what I mean I wasn't happy and this happens to a lot of people who win awards or get real success or do really well is that they transform in their heads really quickly it's like a whole new it's like a whole new brain and then the brain's thinking completely differently and they think completely differently and the, and the world doesn't the world changes around them for sure like it changed completely for me but it changed very slowly brick by brick where I wanted to wake up the next day you know and um, no matter what, I wasn't happy, and that I kind of self sabotaged a lot of stuff for that because of it. You know what I mean? Um, but that's that's part of that's part of um any transformation. So what you're talking about here, um, Marta, is like you're getting so close to a change, you're getting so close to a transformation, and the resistance gets really strong. That's completely normal. You know, that's completely normal. You're with people here. You're with people here who, 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 you know, who can help you, who can help you just like get to the end of the, the finish line with a marathon. Very few people, let, let me tell you, on their first marathon, go over the marathon line like that. Hi, how are you? They go over the marathon line like that. Uh, uh, okay, because they've just gone through a transformation. Okay, yeah, it, 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 it's just the way it's, it's the way things are, and the way it was for me that day. You know that I went through a huge transformation. So just at that, when you're just at, just about to break through something, um, there's there's always that resistance. You remember that there was the famous the famous one that there's that's always quoted of these things was. The, the huge gold, uh, the biggest gold find ever. Uh, a team worked in it for five years and um, they just gave up and said, there's no gold in here. And they walked away and another team came in and found it within three foot. So they, they just stopped at when the transformation was about to happen. And then the, the this new team came in and said, no, there is gold here. Three feet they went and they found the biggest vein of gold that was ever found in the history of mankind. And what does that tell you? They were so close to a transformation. You know, they were so close to the transformation. You know, the, I think I started a marathon. I wasn't ready for it. I wasn't experienced enough, unfortunately. You know, uh, well, listen, that's, 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 no, uh, that's no different. That, there's always a tipping point, you know. There's always a tipping point point where you know it's it, it it's it's hard and then you get over you get to that 51 percent. it's a bit like you know being on a diet and you don't know what's happening or going to the gym every day you don't know what's happening it's like again it's like that transformation you wake up and you go right i need to do this i need to do that i need to join the gym i need to get well and then you want everything to be different the next day and you go to the gym and you come back and you're tired and it's not different and you haven't lost weight and you're going this isn't working and you give up that's what people do all the time in everything in life. It's the same with, with the pages, so with, with, the, with the page here. There could have been a stage where you go, you know what, this is too hard. I've to answered too many questions. I'll just give up. Instead, you have to see the big picture and you have to go, you get through this, you build a community, it'll become one of the best things in the world, you know? And, um, you know, and, 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 that, and that you have to get through it. So I'm aware of tipping points. I'm aware of difficulties in business. I'm aware that we all get lifed every one of us gets lifed all the time i lost my phone the other week uh the poor tunnel closed so my bus was an hour late um we get lifed okay it's not the universe after you it's not uh it's not it's not it's just life just just life and there's a certain amount of things that you so you just have to make sure that you don't let those things um you just accept, you know, fl- you know, business is tough. It is, it is, Sophie. Being in business is tough. Do you know what I mean? Being in business is tough and there's a tipping point, you know, and it's never what people think. 
you know, and it's never as easy, and it's and it's it's, you know, it's and you you but you like you said, um, Sophie, you have to find that love of of you know, is it love of doing color? Is it love of doing hair? Is it love of being with people for you? Is it love of having a laugh? Is it the love of your team? Is it the love of your own little salon? Is it the love? You've got to find your joy. You've got to find your love and you've got to expand your joy and your love because then your business will, it's going to be tough anyway. But the difference is that you're bringing the joy, you're bringing the love, you're bringing it with you. And it's not for other people. It's not for Instagram. It's not uh, to get customers in the chair. It's not, it's like if you do, like I did that old lady who was in the other day and the sheer joy I got out of doing a really good tint, okay? A really good tint and uh, showing, showing to her and going like, that's how you, you know, a really good tint. And I got a lot of joy out of that. Do you know what I mean? I got a lot of joy and I char like I charged three figures for a tint, you know? So, um, you know, that's the way it is. But I got a lot of joy out of it. You know what I mean? And I think, I think Sophie, for where you're at, you just got to follow your joy. You know, and whatever that joy is, life, it's going to be tough anyway. Running a marathon is tough anyway. But if you're happy inside while you're running it, you'll actually, you'll actually run it much better. And you'll have a better life and you'll have a better enjoyable life. But, you know, I wish, I wish I could make money loving Sunday service. Well, I, you know... I wish I could charge for it. You know what I mean? I could charge you guys. But luckily, well, I take very good care of me. But uh, I wish you, I could charge you guys. You know what I mean? Couldn't I? How many years would turn up then? Many years would turn up before I was charging you. I don't know. I would still think a lot of years would actually turn up. You know? Because uh, a lot you are just fantastic people. But remember that the feelings... The feelings are the juice of life. Okay? Not your mind. Not your marketing. Not your... All that stuff... It's great, all that stuff comes with it, but that what's in your heart is the juice. It's the juice of life. And if I gave you the medal where you could buy anything in life and you couldn't feel it, you don't want that medal, okay? The feelings are the most important thing. So, f you know, I give you a medal. <laughs> oh, stop, stop, stop it, stop it. But that the feelings are the juice of life, you know what I mean? And that if you're a caterpillar, once you become a butterfly, you don't ever become a caterpillar again. You're a butterfly, okay? And that's what happens. So when you're on that road and things get tough, find your joy and remember that if you're a caterpillar, once you become a butterfly, you're never a caterpillar again. You can't be. And a true transformation, you can never go back to, you know, and this is, a, this is a problem in itself for a lot of people. They don't actually want to change. You know what I mean? They don't actually want to change. Salas, I'm here for you, babes. We're all here for you. We're all here for you. Um, I'm back. Did you sort the kids out? Elizabeth, I was just saying how you make me laugh at times. You know, I remember you came live from, from um, Disney and the kids, you were queuing in Disney and you were watching me live here. I found that was so funny. I could, I was so funny, you know, it was just so funny, uh, I love you guys, I, lo I love the community, I'm so, I'm so um, deeply honoured to, to be here with you all, and deeply honoured to be a part of it, I know, I know, I, I get it in my head, Elizabeth, I feel so bad, where I'm like saying to the kids, just like, I'm literally going, yeah, yeah, just leave me alone, just leave me alone, you know what I mean, and uh, it's so, I feel so bad, you know, I feel so bad, but that's, you know, my little one, Caitlin, she's now, she writes books, you know, and she, the books are all about, um, you know, devils and angels and stuff. And I'm trying to teach her stuff like we talk about here. And I'm saying, Caitlin, if you put love out in the world, it goes around the world and it comes back to you in a different way. You know, and this guy, and she's looking at me like, Dad, you, you don't seem to know a lot about devils and angels. And I'm like, no, this is this is the way it is, Caitlin. Because she's obviously she's in school and she's learning. To, and I'm like, so Caitlin, if you put love out and help and understanding, um, it will come back to you. And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, Dad, so we have a devil and we have an angel and then we have a girl with superpowers. And I'm like, S sweetheart, okay, well, let's go. And it's just, so now I, it's so funny. It's so funny. So I'm, I'm trying to teach her like the Dara Lama stuff. And she's coming out with me now. She, she likes black. She likes it white she wants to have superpowers um she wants the angels to be really good and the devils to be really bad i'm going if people 
I'm going, if you give out anger and hate and everything, that comes back to you and after a while you become a devil. Because all these things that we're talking about, they are exactly true. You know, if you build your joy little by little, it'll come back to you in life. But if you build hate in your heart little by little, it'll come back to you. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, Caitlin's, uh, Caitlin's, C- C- 18, Caitlin's in Ibiza, uh, you know what I mean? Caitlin, uh, you know, she, Caitlin's, uh, when she's 18, she's she's in Ibiza, I, she, okay, she, she will be a worry, I can see, um, I can see my soul in her heart and that scares me because I loved to dance and once I discovered I could dance, I, I was then just a danger to myself and everyone around me, you know? But this week, think about that when you're thinking about, well, you know, if I had all the money in the world but I couldn't feel it, I wouldn't want all the money in the world. So feelings are the true currency of this world. Energy, time, um, how we feel, the people around us. These are the things that we that, that we need to concentrate on. And that you need to keep in your heart when you're when especially if you're running a business, you know? You need to keep that in your heart because there's people around you who have who have problems in their lives and they're you know, they that you know, that and you will definitely you will I think you will they will definitely bat for you if you bat for them. You know what I mean? And um I think that's 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 kind of that but that that feelings will always come before money, you know? As much as but I'm but that's not to say that I don't want everybody on this thread to be a millionaire. I do. I want us all to be filthy rich. There's nothing wrong with being rich. Nothing at all. Think of all the great things you can do. I want to be super rich. And um uh, I have plans actually you know, I have I have plans to do that. But uh you know, I'd want to hurry the hell up at fifty two, wouldn't I? But there you go. There you go. Okay guys, it was really, really, really and I just love 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 all the uh, comments and everything that's going on there on the page there today. So they're just fantastic. Can I are we are we on? Yeah, we're on an hour and a half. Positive energy is very important. It's very important. Uh, all I want to do is win the see see again, like you know, it's Ashley, if you want to win the lotto, it's 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 um, I love a season in Vegas. If you want to win the lotto, wh- why, what, what would win the lotto make you? F- what what is it about the winning the lotto? Is it why well, I don't want to go to work? But well, then maybe you need to look at your job and do something different. I want that feeling of um. Okay, so we're immediately into feelings, and you can try and create those feelings yourself without the money. I want to do. I I would do. I would do all the things I've wanted to do. What would you like to do? I'd like to paint. Okay. Well, then you should be painting now. Okay. Don't wait to win the lotto. Uh, I'd like to write poetry. I'd like to take photographs. Well, do it now. Don't wait to win the lotto. Um, I'd like to. And suddenly you discover that all the things you think that you need and that you want, you can do them all. They're all here. You know. I wanted to work online. I wanted to. I wanted to reach out to hairdressers all over the world. Here I am. You know. Um. I wanted to, you know, look, like, look at what we're doing here every Sunday, you know. Can you imagine if you said to people that I'm going to do this on a Sunday and that people would tune in from all around the world and that six or eight, five to seven thousand people would watch it every week and uh, it's coming from my bedroom and I'm using my phone. Uh, do, do, you know what they would have said, wouldn't you? You know exactly what they would have said, you know. You know exactly what they would have said, you know. So, um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you need, oh, I need this. I need that. I need the makeup parts. I need this. I need the. I need that. I need all this. You know what? You know what you need. You need this. This is what you need. You need. You need the heart. You know. You need the heart. That's what you need. You know. Nobody notices that. Other than that, if you're yourself, you need to be yourself. You need to be authentic. And basically, everything you need from winning the lotto, you can probably you could probably create in twenty four or forty eight hours. And then it's just building it brick by brick. Susan, good to see you on, babes. I need a nanny. I need, yeah, I need a bigger house. I need a bigger house. I'm in a two-bed house with an attic conversion. And uh, there's basically one bathroom because the bathroom downstairs, I mean, you nearly need to reverse into it. It's that small. So I need a bigger house now, you know. But I'm very happy here. There's lots of love in this house. So, you know, and I like to go on holidays a couple of times a year. You can't have everything. You have to make your choices, you know. Am I going to give up going over to see Tracy and Lanzo? Absolutely not, you know. I love me holidays. I love... For you or for the kids, well, like I, it would be nice if this was a, uh, you know, in, a, you know, in, in somewhere like beautiful, but, you know. Once we have each other, it doesn't really matter. Once we have each other, it doesn't really matter. 
So those things for Illumina are coming. Those new brushes, those new wraps are, um, I don't know how big they're going to be in the USA, but they're going to be very big. They're going to be a big part of going forward. Reusable is going to be a part of our lives, guys. We have to accept that. And um, it's something got taken to Zara. I like it. I like Zara. I like Sarah. I like to buy online now, you know. They go into the shops, they never have um the size I'm looking for. How you doing, Heather? They never have the size I'm looking for, which is a small ish and slightly chubby. No, we don't carry that size, Mr. Dunn, I'm afraid. You know, you have to go online for that. We only have the extra uh slim shirts here. And I'm not going into you know, with no matter how much radical self acceptance I have, being in a Zara trying to get a short on that was made for somebody with no belly is 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 not fun. It's not fun for anyone. And most definitely not fun for me. You know what I mean? It's not fun. I uh, don't worry, I I Marta, you know, there'll be lots of things going forward. I mean the page is so successful, the community is so successful and everybody loves it. There'll be lots of opportunities, hopefully to to for me to to catch up with all the uh well a family from around the world going forward that would be able to do lots of stuff i used to work with someone that reused parent papers man that that's classic that is classic i worked in so many salons I used to hang used to wash all the towels and hang them out at night do you remember that you know do you remember that that was so funny i i love i love i loved your questions tonight guys you're just terrific i couldn't i i just i can't speak highly enough of you you know and um if you have tough times remember you're on you're around fantastic people here on the page who who will really help you and um you, you'll always notice people who are attracted to the positive posts and you'll always notice people who are attracted to, to the negative you'll always notice that people find their own you know what i mean so you know you guys we, we're together on this and it's absolutely amazing thank you very much for tonight it was great to see you on uh thanks for supporting me 50 something people on tonight 60 people uh thanks for supporting me thanks for being on the page tracy thanks for the great i hope you like that one um and we'll, we'll work that out for you we'll get those sorted out for you we'll get some we, we'll, we'll work in your top tens okay we'll get that sorted out for you i promise you we'll, we'll find a way okay we'll find a way uh, one of my staff anyway wants me to open up a salon in Lanzarote. Yeah, uh, Albert, he loves a tan. He loves a tan more than I love a tan. And I, everybody knows how much I love sitting in the sun. I'm basically, I'm, I'm run on solar energy. You know, I need the sun. You know, I actually need sun. I'm a solar. So you know, Albert's just saying to me, open a salon in Lanzo. Just open a salon in Lanzo. And this guy's oh, so funny. I love Albert. He's terrific. He makes me laugh. He's a great guy. So, you know, you never know what we'll do. You never know what can happen. You never know what we'll do. You never know what can happen. Thanks, guys. Are you missed you. I missed you, love. I missed you. It's your love of painting. Like from when I, when, when Jane was, when Jane was started, I could tell that she had that love, her love of painting, that she had, her joy was in her painting, you know? That, yeah, I love the sun. Her joy was in her painting. So follow your joy, guys. Okay, follow your joy and the money tends to follow with it. Much love. I'll be back next Sunday. Um and and um, we're gonna work out whether we do one every Sunday or every second Sunday, um I'm not quite sure but it looks to you guys just enjoy it and it was great tonight with the family out you know, um I won't I won't get away with this, so I know what you mean. Oh, you're welcome, Karen. You're welcome, Mary. How's it going? Good to see you. On thanks for um putting me in touch with um Eddie and with Julie this week and I hope uh so so we got a lot of stuff about Illumina. Uh, and thanks Julie from Geneva again for the, the heads up about the wraps and the heads up about the brushes let's uh I'll, I'll get a hold of those and I'll show them on you here and, and uh they're not on the Wellness Story UK or Ireland yet but I'm sure they're coming Mary how you doing Mary's just had a beautiful little baby and she's just back from maternity leave and it's not easy but she's making it work and uh much love to you Mary thanks for being there for me I'm 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 um I'm lucky. I'm lucky to have you in my life, uh. And best. I hope everything's going well. Judy is great. Yeah, Judy's great. I'm gonna get to know her. I think I might have. I might have scared her a little bit because uh, maybe she's not used to um, you know, dealing with a mad elf like me. But um, I love Illumina, and we're gonna do a good few things in Illumina here going forward. But remember, guys, add a little bit of base in with your Illumina. It's like an anchor. Okay, it works really well. There you are, Julie. We were only talking about you. 
we were only talking about you, Julie, about thanks again, Julie, for the heads up about the wraps and the heads up about the brushes. And we spoke a lot about Illumina tonight. Illumina got a got a a, a good a good uh a good chat tonight. So remember guys, add a little bit of bass in and um going forward once i have the wraps here i'll show you them and once we have the brushes and we'll see what else and the new colors will be out in march so um but try a little bit of base in with it and remember what i said about the metal okay if you had all the money in the world and you couldn't feel anything you wouldn't take that metal so your heart and your feelings are the most important thing follow your joy that's how i'll leave it tonight okay follow your joy I'm going to have a glass of wine. I'm going to have a glass of wine tonight. Uh, you know, the, the, my, my little diet plan says the weekends are not for cheating. But um, I'm not going to listen to that tonight, okay? I'm not going to listen to that tonight. Okay, Illumina, is, we love Illumina. We love it. And there's the people who love glassing with Illumina. They love glassing with Illumina. I love them all. Colour Touch, Collison, I love them all. And I'll do something on Colliston next, I think. Uh, Julie, thanks. I hope we, we get, we're going to get to work a lot of stuff together. You should watch the start again. The first 20 minutes is all about Illumina. Shalumina. And uh, one day, guys, I'll tell you all about the launch in the UK. It was one of the most amazing launches. I'll never forget it. And I, I made some really great friends okay, uh, there. Uh, the Illumina launch was one of the, the best launches I've ever been at. It was incredible. And there's no, there's no product in the whole world like it. It's the creme de la mer of hair colour okay it's the creme de la mer of hair colour good night guys follow your joy follow your heart and we'll all have to get together and help tracy love yous all i'll see you next week steph i hope you're still having an l beer i'm gonna have a glass of wine and watch this back and then i'll answer all your questions that's what i tend to do i watch it back and i answer all your questions right guys good night Yeah, we're on quite a while. Good night. Love to you all. I'll see you next Sunday. Uh, I, and this thing I'm working on in my head, hopefully I, I'll have got some evidence in my head that it actually works. I'm still waiting for it. And um, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, that's a good one. We'll have to sort them out. But she, she'll have a list now. You know, they won't, it won't just be that, uh, Karen. If she gets that, there'll be something else to go with it. You know, there'll be three or four things. She's she's working on it now as we're, as we're speaking, you know. Okay, Joanne, good night, guys. Thanks again. And remember to stay around people who make you happy and who make you who make you shine, okay? And that's the community here. Nowhere like it. Love to you all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.